And in badminton, I would suggest, and he's got such variety from there, his opponents never quite know what he's going to do, even when he's that late. Another good example there. Had a long discussion recently about why it is such a great backhand and really came to the conclusion that it was technique and timing, wonderful timing on that backhand. of the Super Series finals a couple of weeks ago. Taufik Hidiat, after playing one match, or one and a half matches, actually. Trouble with that knee that's bandaged. Oh, my goodness. Just brushed the shuttle off the top of the tape. Wonderful control. technique again Tafik famed for being one of the best net players around not many players take him on in that area it's over nine ten change of shuttle required what I also think with um, Tafik is that He's one of the players that has adapted very well to the new scoring system. I think he's found a very good rhythm that suits him and his game. He plays in bursts, he plays, mixes the pace up a little bit, plays pace on and pace off. And he's very, very good before and after the breaks. You see there a very explosive point to get him to 11. He gets a little rest after using a little bit of explosive energy there to recover and then he comes out, just tries to make the break. He uses the coaching breaks very well and Tactically, is very, very clever with this scoring system. So, a two point advantage for the number two seed at the mid game interval. First tournament for Targo since the Asian Games. This is the last two Super Series events of 2010. Oh, indecision. What a rally. Fantastic. Both players pushing and probing to all four corners of the court. 
patiently trying to outmaneuver the other. Court. Yeah, once he sees Tafik's late, he's very aggressive in his stance. Rack it up. He got caught once earlier in the game with that cross court recovery from late in the backhand, but not a second time. And the court will need to be mopped of the perspiration that's been dripping down from the players. And Targo, of course, has been showing huge potential for a long time back in 2006 he won the Asian Junior Championships first ever Japanese player to win the boys singles and then a year later silver medalist at the 2007 World Junior Championships lost out to a certain Chen Long of China it's taken him a little longer than some of the Chinese players to break through into the top of world badminton, but he certainly is doing so now, Targo. Oh, that's sensational. Yes, I think the Japanese have done a good job with him, though. They didn't overexpose him when he was young. They've limited his number of tournaments. They've concentrated on developing his weak areas, and I think his progression has been very controlled, very well controlled, and uh, that's probably a sign of Park's experience there. What's nice tactically in this game is that Targo's mixing it up a lot. He's not scared to play Tafik around the net. He's used the net area very well, and that's created some spaces in the rear court. So he's keeping Tafik a little bit off balance with a nice mix of tactics. Another very good rally. Yeah, but you're right about Targo being willing to take Hideout on at the net. Not sure it was entirely wise on that occasion. No, but it shows he's playing with a lot of confidence at the moment because he has mixed it up very, very well. And it was a super rally again, and that will have certainly taken a lot out of Taffy. The first of the very long run is that Targo's one. Yes, but he's persisting with good tactics, good, good varieties, as I said just before. 
Tafik's having to work extremely hard in these rallies. Oh, my goodness. Just when you think perhaps he's feeling the pace of the match after that long, long rally, suddenly produces a smash like this. Power and placement. Now it's Targo forced to take the high backhand. Tafik takes full advantage. smash again that one wasn't quite so powerful but it was disguised yeah, it was the straight smash in the last rally and Targo is not sure which way it's going it's very well disguised so I think great early preparation here just choosing cross at the last moment and Targo unable to read the direction of the attack Oh, my goodness. What's that? Is that three consecutive rallies, winning smashes? Yeah, but it's the change of pace, Jill, there. He played a high clear. High clear, and again, Targo turning and taking the backhand. As soon as he turns and takes that backhand, Tafik straight onto it. But the, it was the slow high clear, and then the change of pace with the smash. Really good tactics. Oh, he's done it again. Four in a row, four winning smashes, three of them hit cross court. That is just phenomenal. Well, Ian, you said that he played in spurts. My goodness. It's the change of pace that's confusing Targo at the moment, though. Again, Tafik just using a high clear to the forehand side, inducing the, the slow clear return and then changing the pace. Targo's just struggling a little bit tactically at the moment. Two points away from the opening game for the number two seed.